A lot of people want their mixes to sound big and wide, but the way they're going about it is completely backwards and creates the exact opposite effect, smaller mixes. So to get with, you don't need stereo widening plugins and it doesn't take any fancy tricks. It's actually dead simple. Now the term width, it only makes sense in context. You can only have something sound wide in comparison to something that sounds narrow. Just like light can only look bright against darkness. It's about contrast. And so the way to get wider sounding mixes is to have more contrast between the middle and the sides. Imagine you're standing in an actual room with six guitar players. Now first, they're spaced out evenly like this, and then they stand like this. Now, which position do you think is gonna sound wider? It's pretty obvious, right? So if you're trying to create width and space by panning things all over the spectrum, you know, 50 here, 80 there, 30 there, you're not creating width. You're actually destroying the perception of width because there's less contrast in the stereo field. Instead, you wanna have most elements in your mix panned either dead center or hard left or hard right. I'll let you hear the difference. So I've got a mix here with a lot of layers, especially on the guitars. We've got these rhythm guitars. Another layer. Another riff and then two solos. And you can see I've got them panned all hard left and right and the lead guitars both right up the middle. Now, let me do what a lot of people would do here is let's pan some of these guitars. Well, let's leave some of them wide out. Let's pan this layer in about 75. Let's pan this riff in a little tighter. Let's say 50. We'll just try to spread all these guitars out evenly through the stereo field. These ones are in 50. And then let's take these leads and let's just pan them out a little bit. Let's say 30 on each side. Okay, so let's listen to what this version sounds like. <laughs> But if we flip back and forth in AB in real time, you're gonna start to really hear the difference between these panning moves. So when I hit this green button in, that means you're hearing the, the mix with the narrower panning positions. And when I hit it out, that's my original mix, everything panned wide. So let's start narrow and then I'll flip wide. In that AB, the, the version with all the guitars panned either center or hard left and right sounds way bigger. Now, let's try sticking with the narrow panning positions but adding a stereo width plugin to the mix bus. Okay, to my ears, we, we gain some of the width back for sure but we also lose some solidness and power in the low end. And in this mix, there are a lot of guitars. Those are all hard panned. And we've also got a lot of synths and percussion and other layers. And I've kept all of those either up the middle or hard panned as well. And the only time I'll use an in-between panning position is pretty much on drums. You know, I like it to actually seem like a real drum kit in the way it's arranged. So I'll have the toms panned a little bit to, to either side. Or if I have a situation like a lead vocal with a lead guitar, both right up the middle, I might pan the lead guitar off just a tiny bit to separate it just a little bit. But aside from a few of those types of cases, I pretty much act as if there are only three positions on the pan knob, center, left, and right, and not all of the 200 positions in between. So what about stereo widening plugins? Well, if you mix the way I'm describing here, it won't even occur to you to reach for a width plugin because things will already sound wide. Like you don't think of bringing a flashlight with you on a bright sunny day. Now those types of plugins can be useful for creating unique sounds or special effects, but I think more often people use them like a band-aid slapped on at the end of the mix. And band-aid mixing is what amateurs do. Pro mixes are built from the foundation up. So that's why stereo width is one of those things that a lot of people get exactly backwards. And another one is low end. Everyone wants as big and powerful a low end as they can possibly get, but a lot of the advice out there will give you the exact opposite result. 
So if you want to dig deeper into that, check out my controversial tips for low end right here.